if you're an Android user, the first thing that you will care about is Android updates. And the second thing is whether or not the Android version is stock Android-ish or if it is thick skin, you can be a fan of either of these. And if you're a fan of the latter, you would have heard about MIUI from Xiaomi. But there's, a, there's also another one from Huawei. It's called Emotion UI or simply EMUI. We've been using this since like three or four years and now it's come out on the Honor 8 Lite with a little toned down version and it's worth looking at and we compare it with the MIUI as well as we talk you through it. Let's go. So this is the Honor 8 Lite, a lighter version as the name indicates of the Honor's flagship Honor 8. And this is how it looks like. Uh, it's a handier phone and it has just one camera lens on its primary uh, module as compared to the dual lens setup. Let's take a look at this. To start off with, it runs on the EMUI 5.0 and one of the things that it brings in as a rarity is with a thick skin UI, it's running on Android's uh, latest version, the Android Nougat, which uh, others like the MIUI and so on usually don't come up with. They lag with one version. Let's look at the many different features which are far different from the normal Chinese ROM that we would see. First thing, we don't see an app drawer here, but the EMUI 5.0 brings in that ability. You can switch from the normal standard mode, which has the apps laid out on many different home screens, to something like this. So you'd start seeing the app drawer. This is something that we really love because most of the Chinese uh, uh, ROMs there don't have this. You can the second thing that we would want to walk you through is the attention to details that uh, Huawei has put into the uh, MUI 5.0. If you take a notice of the icons, they have rounded edges and they've gone more stack, stock Android way in terms of uh, putting all the toggles as compared to the earlier uh, setup of putting them into two buckets where you would have, have to swipe uh, twice for viewing your notifications and uh, getting across to the toggle menu. And another thing is they've got this theme of black or blue or blue and white in most of their menus that gives it an appealing look as well as softer to the eyes and has a more professional look that, as compared to the juvenile look that uh, the Emotion UI had before. So that's another thing that they've brought about. More simplistic and uh, professional look. Next up, uh, the Honor 8 Lite does not have uh, the hardware navigation buttons, but it has an option for the on-screen navigation buttons. Though it is uh, uh, good for one-handed usage, Honor or Huawei has different other phones that come in bigger sizes as well. And that's where they've brought in certain features for the ease of one-handed usage. For instance, let's take a look at how you can change the buttons. So in the navigation, it gives you a, a list of options where you can also add the fourth uh, icon that helps you bring down the notifications. You can even swap the positions of the back and the multitasking uh, menu as well. So now with this, say you're, you're on a train and uh, you're clinging on to uh, a support and you are uh, hell-bent on using this in a single line use it. So you, all you have to do is that and the notification and the toggle menus come up. Another thing uh, around this is the way you can program your fingerprint scanner. If I swipe down and up, it starts playing around with the notification menu. For instance, I'm swiping down and the notification and the toggle menus come up. So this is another feature as well. Another feature around the ease of single-handed usage is if I do that, it moves in and with the smaller profile here, it's much easier for uh, you to use with a single-handed usage. So these are the things that uh, help one use the phone with a single hand, especially when the phones are bigger. The next option that we're going to talk about is the smart assistance. This is somewhere the EMUI holds a lot of options like the floating dock, the motion control, the one-handed usage and so on. Let's take a look at the floating dock. Turn this on and you'll see this floating bob over here that you can move around. And this basically mimics all the options that you have here on the on-screen navigation. And this also helps in one-handed usage when you're doing your, your activities on multiple screens. And, and the instance that you don't want it, long tap and you can get rid of it. Yeah. We also have the motion control. Out here on the Honor 8 Lite, 
since it's a turned on version of the EMUI itself, you just have to flip to mute. But then if it was uh, on a higher end phone from Huawei or Honor, you would have had a lot of other gestures like knuckle tap to take a screenshot, scrolling and so on. And then we have the list of uh, the one handed usage like we just saw. Here we also have shifting the keyboard to the left and right uh, as you move the screens around. The next thing we'll talk about is how handy the toggle menu is. Here you see a list of options like the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, mobile data and so on. But there's some very useful ones that will not require you to start downloading apps again. One of the things that we love doing is recording what we do on the screen. And that's why you have the screen recording option here. And there's also the Huawei share that lets you share different uh, information, media and all across Huawei devices. So let's take a look at the screen recording option. So once you enable it, it'll start giving you a counter and then it starts recording. Then we also have uh, other options like the mirror share and the location information and the floating dock that we saw from earlier and so on. So that's how this toggle menu itself has been enhanced. There are other options like the reading mode for eye comfort, the ultra battery saving mode, the do not disturb mode and so on. And this is how a lot of richness has been brought into the toggle menu that does not require you to install additional apps. Next up, there's a lot of smartness added into certain applications here. For instance, let's look at the calendar. What this does is it picks up information from different applications like your Gmail uh, or any other email that you can configure or your SMS app. For instance, Gmail sent me, an, uh, sent me a text message telling me that it was my cousin's birthday on the 24th. What it, I could do is automatically add that information here. So if you see, it's actually picked up the information and it's telling me to wish my cousin a happy birthday and also maybe uh, go out for dinner on that particular day. So this is another smartness that has been added here. And I can also configure many different calendars within this. For example, I had configured my office app so that the details of that calendar was, were also was synced here. So that way you can manage multiple appointments, multiple tasks right in just one place here. So we saw many different features of the EMUI and you might have noticed that it's picked up cues and nuances from several other operating systems which have done well. What is more interesting here is the sort of machine learning and artificial intelligence that Huawei is putting behind its operating system. Like for instance, it's tracking your data usage, it's tracking your network usages, it's also tracking your behavior patterns and trying to optimize the operating system to make it better for you. You may not instantly observe that, but over a period of time, the operating system is supposed to get much smarter and smarter. And this is something that is very interesting to see and that will set it apart from the computation rather than just uh, doing some interesting uh, updates on the UI front. And this is something which is more futuristic and might uh, you know, give it an edge in the future. Leave some comments or questions if you had any um, in the section below. And for more interesting updates and uh, latest news on gadgets, do subscribe to techpp.com. Until the next one, this is GK signing off. Bye-bye now.